um, legalists and full-blown Pelagians, how they will twist uh, the doctrine of obedience. Let me give you guys a good example, and I want you to remember these references because I don't believe in ever believe I don't ever believe in bearing a false witness against anyone. I believe if you make a charge against someone, you provide evidence. Well, I think I shared with many of you guys today that I wrote a rebuttal to John MacArthur's book on the Lordship Salvation Controversy. Now, in that book, I highlighted some of MacArthur's heresies, and I want to give you the references to his book, and I'm specifically referring to the Gospel According to Jesus that was written by John MacArthur. It's his latter edition, the anniversary edition. But let me tell you how a true legalist defines obedience. But you're going to have to be careful. I'm going to give you an important disclaimer here. They're big on double talk. And you've got to remember these big name, popular bastions of so-called Christianity today, of which what I'd argue is not Christianity at all, many of them are known for double talk. So on one side, they'll say, yeah, we believe in Christ alone plus nothing. We believe in the righteousness of Christ. But on the other side, they'll start promoting works righteousness. You have to catch it. And if you don't catch it, you're going to find yourself just getting in disputes with people that will go nowhere because what his fanboys will do and what other legalists like him will do is they'll just say, oh no, they're just going to cite you all the references. Well, MacArthur says, Christ alone plus nothing. And they'll ignore the text where MacArthur says, obedience and works and law keeping, this assures us of salvation. So you're going to have to show them that. For example, um, on page 240, of MacArthur's book called The Gospel According to Jesus, the latter edition. Here's a direct quote. Quote, he says, nothing we could do in any way could add to what Christ accomplished on our behalf, nor does lordship salvation suggest otherwise. End quote. Let me say that one more time. He said, nothing we could do in any way could add to what Christ accomplished on our behalf, nor does lordship salvation suggest otherwise. That's page 240 of his book. Now that sounds right. He's saying Christ alone plus nothing, but that's not all he says. Then if you go to page 227, I want you to listen to this heretical quote you're about to hear, and it's on page 227. MacArthur says, obedience, quote, obedience to divine authority is a prerequisite of entrance into the kingdom, end quote. Let me say that one more time on page 227. Obedience to divine authority is a prerequisite of entrance into the kingdom. End quote. So he says, Christ alone plus nothing. But then he says, obedience is a prerequisite of entrance into the kingdom. And people are too blind to see this. So you know what you want to say to people who want to defend him? And they say, oh, yeah, but he says on page 240, it's Christ alone plus nothing. What you're going to want to do is say, let me ask you a question. So if your pastor says, I love my wife. But then you saw him out in town with other women? Are you going to say, well, we have to take him at his word. He says he loves his wife. So forget the fact that we saw him out in town with other women. After all, he says he loves his wife, so we just have to take his word. If you're going to be that intellectually dishonest, then there's really not much I can do to help you. That's what you're going to have to say to them. Because that's honestly what people do with, when it comes down to their favorite idol that they call a pastor. And I believe that's heresy. 